Welcome to Trader Bob's 24-Hour General Store and Authentic Native Village Playground. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. Hello, what are you looking at? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Where's the Pygmy Village? Do you come from around here? You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. Hi, I'm Joe King. Sorry, I don't understand. Can you speak English? I beg your pardon? I don't speak Pygmy. Goodbye. He's asleep. Hi, I'm Joe King. Sorry, I don't understand. I don't speak Pygmy. Goodbye. We accept MasterCard and Visa. So we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King. Joe King. Pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a later hosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's the Lederhosen company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, the Lederhosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. What exactly is Lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floater on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe. And if you need any more help, just ask. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. Which merchandise in particular? You sell comic books? You mean like Commander Rocket? Yeah, that's the very comic book I'm after. Do you have any in stock? Sorry, we don't deal in children's literature. Maybe you should try a newsstand or something. What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except 
I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are ball cuts. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about your date tonight? Oh, it's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened. And I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. What am I going to do? If I find some perfume, will you trade some stuff in the store for it? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to do that. But I could trade you something of mine, like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. He thinks Grandma is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. <laughs> Thanks for your time. That's okay. Hi there. Rah! Pieces of me! Pieces of me! Ah! Polly want a cracker? Quack! The name's Wedgwood! Quack! Bozo! Who's a pretty boy then? Quack! Not you, that's for sure! Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum! Quack! Quack! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! Quack! 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 I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly! Quack! The wise guy, eh? One hundred percent pure dehydrated beef. I'm already carrying that. That doesn't seem to work. It's empty. That's right, son. A new supply of beef jerky should be through any day now. doesn't seem to work. It's 100% pure dehydrated beef. You look a little hungry. I've got some beef jerky. Would you like some? You bet I would. I'll even pay for it. That's okay. You can have it for free. No, I insist. Here, have some money. Gee, thanks. No, thank you. It's a self-powered model, though it looks more like a bug exterminator's kit. I think they're full of castor oil. Yeah, aniseed balls. Who'd want to wear mouse ears on their head? Just my luck, it's out of order. Excuse me, Bob, what can I do for you? Would you have a phone I could use? Sorry, but the only phone in the village is broken. Could I have a look at it? I might be able to repair it. I don't think so. 
You see, the witch doctor tried fixing it already. She set fire to it to chase out any demons. It hasn't been the same since. Do you know anyone else that may have a phone? Floater, probably. When you're looking for the princess, see if you can find one. Nice shot. Did you decorate it yourself? I had help from Naomi over there. She's got a real knack for interior decorating. Does she live here? No, she lives in a house with her dad, the chief. She's very pretty. Uh-huh, she sure is. And before you go getting any ideas, I'd just like to say that she's my girlfriend. Thanks for telling me about Naomi. That's okay. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? What sort of things do you sell? I sell all sorts of things. Some of them are only for special customers. What are you interested in? How do I get to be a special customer? I generally reward my long-term or really helpful customers with special status. If you want to be special, do something to impress me. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Joe. What can I do for you? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. Which merchandise in particular? I'm interested in that vacuum cleaner thingy. A lot of people mistake it for a pesticide pack, but it's definitely a vacuum cleaner. It's got a built-in battery and it's on sale for one day only. I think I'll look around. Okay. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this thing. That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son. It's actually an experimental self-powered model. Self-powered? Uh-huh. It's got a built-in battery or something. It'd be worth a fortune in the city, but it's useless here in the jungle. Well, I'm sure I can find a use for it. Here's some money. It's all yours, son. Nice doing business with you. Hey, no problem. Has there been any success in finding the crystal skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. Yeah, and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Then I shall rule the world! <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Ah, the local reading room. There's some graffiti on the door. Kilroy was here. He doesn't look too happy. Mmm, 
Mmm, it's full of sweet nectar. These mannequins are wearing later hosen. To be or not to be? That is the question. Leave my pencil alone. Okay. I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. How about a ham radio? No. We don't have a ham radio. Would you have a courier pigeon? No, we don't have a courier pigeon. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. How about a pig radio? I'm getting sick of your jokes. What do you want? Look, I really need to use a telephone. For the last time, we don't have a telephone. I'd like to see your superior. I'm afraid my superior is busy. Maybe I can help you. I doubt it. You haven't been much use so far. Well, if that's your attitude, I'd rather not speak to you. Goodbye. He doesn't look too happy. Easy boy. I'll uh, just be on my way. They got him trained well. Salvation? The small prince says, every Sunday with Jimmy and Mary Lou. That pretty bug really has that fish jumping. That water is really moving fast. It's hanging out over the ravine. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Bud. And my friend here is Skip. We're explorers. Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a rash. Just like I have. I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Joe. Are you guys professional explorers? Uh-huh. That's why we're wearing these spiffy safari jackets and neat 
piss helmets. Yes, they're quite nice. Gee, thanks. Our safari suits are fashionable, yet practical. And our pith helmets help create an air of professionalism. What are you looking for in this jungle? We're trying to find the legendary lost tribe of Amazon women. Why do you want to find a tribe of Amazons? We were previously captured by them. They took us to their secret Amazon fortress. And then they... they... I'd rather not say what they did. How did you get away? Did you escape? Are you kidding? We wanted to stay there. You see, I've got this embarrassing... rash. It's from the jungle heat, you know. They saw that and kicked us out. Why is it an embarrassing rash? Because it's in a rather private place. Look, I'd pay lots of money to get rid of it. Thanks for talking. See ya. Talk to you later. Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Skip, jungle explorer and comic collector. What sort of things have you discovered? Well, my partner Bud and I have discovered the ancient wooden chicken of Talmaxa Quarter, the mystical toothpick of the great King Manaputu, and the sacred crown of the Sun King. I thought the sacred crown of the Sun King was unearthed last century. Yeah, but the Museum of Mexico lost it in their collection. We helped them find it again, which was no easy task. It took more than three days to look through 50 cardboard boxes. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket vs. The Mob. It's really good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. Do you actually collect comic books? Sure, but I also collect the other magazines like Amazing Stories, Detective Murder Monthly, and National Geographic. You read National Geographic? Heck no! I just look at the pictures. What's the one you're reading all about? It's really exciting! Commander Rocket is battling the Chicago mob, but his rocket pack runs out of gas. He has to find some alternative fuel source. Does he find any new fuel? Of course he does! He always wins out in the end, but you'll have to read the comic to find out how. How can he battle the mob? Is he a cop? Not quite. He's a vigilante with a rocket pack, but the cops always help him out. Do the mobsters kill him? No way! Command the rocket always gets out of a tight scrape. He's my hero. Thanks for the plot synopsis. That's okay. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another Rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Here's a message for him in Commander Rocket code. G-S-R-H-R-H-Z-H-V-X-I-V-G-N-V-H-H-Z-T-V. My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This'll make Sparky's day. I'm sure it will. I understand how important this'll be to your friend. Those shorts you have on are really swell. Where did you buy them? I don't know. My mommy buys all my clothes for me. I gotta go now. Goodbye!
Hey, I know you, don't I? I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. What on earth are you supposed to be? I'm a vicious dinosaur. I'd stay back if I were you. I can be very dangerous. There's no such thing as a talking dinosaur. How would you know? I bet you've never ever seen one before. If you're a dinosaur, then why aren't you extinct? Because I eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly. It's a costume. I can see the stitches. Those aren't stitches. They're worry lines. I know who you are. You're the gorilla I saw earlier. No, I'm not. I'm a vicious dinosaur. Now leave me alone or I'll be forced to eat you. That poor disguise doesn't fool me. You're an ape. Okay, you found me out. I am the gorilla you met earlier. Now if you don't mind, I've got to keep guarding this log. You don't get out of it that easy. I've got some questions that need answers. Do you have to keep bothering me? What do you want to know? How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. Could you teach me how to disappear? Oh, how I wish I could. But unfortunately, I can't teach you to disappear. I can only suggest you go hide in the jungle. Why are you wearing a pink dinosaur costume? Because my blue chicken costume is still at the dry cleaners. Is there a reason why you're blocking my way? Uh-huh. It's revenge for the last time when you said I didn't exist and made me disappear. Nice talking to you, but I gotta go. Bye. Hey there, little fella. Watch it there, boy. That little fella has one main bite. Hey there, little fella. I wouldn't get too close to him. He hasn't had his shots yet. How adorable. He'd make a great pet. Oh, yeah? Do you know how much it costs to feed a monkey? You can have him. Don't listen to him. He's our favorite monkey, and he is staying right here. Hi, I'm Joe King. Howdy, boy. The name's Jimmy Cook. Welcome to our humble mission. It's our own little slice of heaven. This looks more like a zoo than a mission. Hey, I happen to like animals. In my spare time, I'm a zoologist. Last month, I studied sloths. This month, I'm studying monkeys. Do the monkeys have names? Well, they sure do. This one here is called Bonzo. The one in the middle is Cheetah. And the one in the pirate hat's called Bubbles. Are there any tigers in the Amazon? Or are they only found in Africa? Heavens, no. There aren't any tigers here or in Africa. You'd have to go all the way to Asia to find a tiger, or at least the nearest zoo. What exactly is a sloth? A sloth is a tree-climbing edentate mammal found in Central and South America. They're slow-moving, hairy, and have little or no teeth. That sounds a lot like my grandfather. Your grandfather climbs trees? What do they eat if they have no teeth? Well, they eat stuff that doesn't require chewing. The species in this jungle has a particular liking for sweet nectar. I never thought sloths could be so interesting. I know what you mean. 
Once you begin studying them, you find it hard to stop. Truly one of God's finest creations. I think I know enough about sloths. You can never know enough. Why do you have a mission in the Amazon jungle? Why not? It's just as good as any other place. The rent's cheap, weather's nice, and the place is brimming with natives who need spiritual guidance. Are you giving these monkeys guidance? Monkeys are people too. They've got feelings. They have beliefs. So what if they've got IQs less than 50? We're used to that. Do you know where I could find a phone? Hmm, that's a tough one. The only place I can think of is the Flota Leader Hosen Factory. You can find them over beyond the pinnacle. Nice talking to you. Oh, bless you, my son. Hi there. My name's Joe. Howdy, Joe. I'm Mary Lou Cook. My husband Jimmy and I run this mission. Who did you set the mission up for? Those monkeys. Are <laughs> very funny. We were trying to teach the native pygmies, but they ran away. Why did the pygmies run away? I don't know. I began singing when they suddenly upped and left. Listen. All things great and beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? <coughs> Believe me when I say you have a unique voice. Wow. Thank you. Well, I hope they come back soon. Are you guys qualified teachers? Of course we are. We spent 17 years in Arkansas teaching Sunday school. What do you teach there? Grizzly bears? Now you're just being silly. Teaching grizzly bears? Heck no. We taught raccoons. Where have the pygmies gone? Well, they joined the rest of the pygmies at Trader Bob's. That scallywag is always scalping our converts. How did you talk to the pygmies? I just used my English to pygmy dictionary. Where can I get a dictionary? The only place that sells them is the New Age Native Pygmy Healing Crystal Earth Awareness Bookshop. But that's back in Venezuela. I'll swap you for your dictionary. Hmm, what have you got to swap? Would you like a beautiful vacuum cleaner? No way! I'd rather have a maid to clean up after me. You can file that suggestion under no good. Thanks for your time. That's okay. I enjoyed talking to you. Darn, this stupid nail file is almost blunt. 